Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here then welcome, thank you for joining me. I am Adrienne and I am Indiana Backyard Gardener. I just did a video uh, for Zones 5 and 6 and now I'm going to do uh, a list for Zones um, 7 and 8 of all of the things that you can still be planting in June. It is not too late to start a garden if you're thinking, oh, it's too hot, it's too late. I don't have, you know, I should have started the seeds a long time ago. No, don't think that is not too late. A lot of times gardeners think that in the middle of June, it's too late. You see your neighbor's plants are two feet tall and you're thinking, oh, I'll never get, you know, I'll never get it going. It's too late. It's not too late. The thing about it is you have a number of days in your growing season. So what you want to do is you want to figure out how many days are in your growing season. So the time between your last frost date, which was probably in April. So from April till your first frost date. So you might have, um, you know, end of October beginning of November as your first frost date so from April to November is your growing season okay you got to figure out how many days are in your growing season and then you'll know what you can grow because the seed packs tell you most seed packs will tell you how many days it is to harvest so then you'll know how if you have a long enough time to grow that and for zone seven and eight you guys have a lot of time to grow a lot of things. I'm in zone five, so I don't have that luxury, but you guys can do succession planting. You guys can be doing lots of things. So here are 13 seeds that you guys can still plant right now in June. Beans, bush beans and pole beans. You can definitely do succession planting with beans. Anything that you are taking out from spring take out the um, you know if you've got things that are coming to maturity or things that are going to seed take those things out spinach you know things that are just not doing well take those things out and plant beans beans will replenish the nutrients in your soil and you'll get a nice bumper crop start your summer squash you can still start that you can still and and the thing about squash is those vine borers and those um, squash bugs sometimes they can really decimate your your whole crop so now is the time you can still plant and you can plant a backup or you can plant a succession crop for when your plants have been spent you can pull those out and you can get a fresh one in and you can still plant and still get another um, harvest you can do um, potatoes. Potatoes are not just a spring crop. You can definitely grow potatoes in June. Start potatoes in June. Um, corn, sweet corn and popcorn, you know, the shorter maturity uh, varieties, like 90 days. Cucumbers, definitely. Tomatoes, you can definitely plant tomatoes. You can plant tomatoes now from seed for your fall harvest. Think about fall, you guys. Melons, all the melons that mature quicker, 100 days or less, are probably going to be your best bet. Kales, collard, Swiss chards, those all do okay in the summer. Um, they, they taste better in the cool weather, but they still will grow in the summer and you can still get some harvest. New Zealand spinach, Malabar spinach, those things can grow. You can plant those things now. Okra, if you're, if you're an okra lover, plant your okra. All right, so get those things started. You can definitely plant replacements for some of those things as well. Like I said, sometimes the pests will come and they will decimate a lot of your plants and you'll, you know, you won't get the harvest that you were looking for. But if you start backups now and you can replace those ones that are not doing well and get a fresh one in as soon as, as, soon as you know that you need to take those other ones out. Sometimes our plants will, you know, fall because of pests or because of disease or what have you. Maybe, um, you know, critters come along, whatever it may be. But you always want to have a backup plant. Now, 
you also need to be thinking about whether or not you're going to start a fall garden. I know it's only June, but you definitely need to start now because you're going to want to get those plants out by August. And they're going to need a good eight weeks to grow inside. So, you want to get your Brussels sprouts, your cabbage, your cauliflower, um, <clears throat> kohlrabi, kales, broccolis, everything that you think you want to grow in the fall, you want to get those things started now so that you can um, have a fall harvest. So that's all I have for you guys today. I just wanted to get that information out there. Um, I hope you guys got something out of it. And then just a reminder, there's not going to be a live stream tonight because our church is having our 50th annual convention. So um, I will be working on the kitchen committee and I will not be available to do the live tonight. But we will resume next week on Friday as usual, same time. Um, and yeah. That's about it. So I thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate you. If you did find this information helpful, like, subscribe, share the video with somebody you think can use it. And until next time, the more you know, the more you grow. Bye guys.